I want to show you all a project that me and a buddy of mine have been working really hard to complete. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you would have seen I've done quite a few different videos regarding converting images into line art. And there's lots of different websites out there, lots of different costs, lots of different results and everything in between. So I got in touch with a friend of mine who I know can do like web design and stuff like that. And I wanted to create a project where you can upload your own image and you convert it into a particular style. So you haven't got to put the prompt in yourself and where you're putting in lots of different prompts till you're getting the right result. Or if you're generating lots of different images using different styles, like I've shown in previous videos before, I wanted this website to be nice and simple. You upload your photo, it's giving you three options at the moment where you can convert it into different styles of line art. So I've got Inkscape open now here just to show you some of the results we've got from it so far. So these bigger ones here, these are converted into vector files already. At the moment, the website itself doesn't export it or save it as a vector, but I'm gonna show you how you can do that yourself completely free. We're hoping to get that implemented in the very near future, but at the moment it's just not there. These are a couple of images I've done, so I just literally took a photo of myself on my phone with my hat on and just sent it to this and it's converted this. Now because it's AI and the same with previous videos where I've done where people are like, oh, it isn't exactly the same as the photo, it's not always going to be exactly the same of the photo because it is AI generated. It's not somebody going in by hand and following every single detail. So that is when we've done a photo of myself. That's when we tested it with a well-known character, obviously the Joker. And we also tested it with an animal. I tried to find a, a, an image with quite a few details in it. So I just used this image of a horse. So up the top here, these are images that are currently on the website as like examples but I'm gonna show you the image we used and then the three different results we currently offer. So we've got Jesse Pinkman there from Breaking Bad. And you can see at the bottom, we've got three different results. So we've got your thick line art, standard line art, and detail line art. And these are the type of results you'd expect to get. So let's just have a quick look at the results. So the thick line art is very minimal. That is how I've designed it to be, as minimal as possible, but with thicker black lines. And then the same with just the standard line art, we've asked it to produce a minimal image, like a realistic cartoon as such, but with thinner lines. And then with the detailed line art, we've asked it to do similar to the line art and also try and get some, you know, some of the darkness and stuff from the thick line art, but also try and get extra details in there. So you can see in this one, we've got details in the hair and shadows and all the facial hair. Sticking with the same show, we got Walter White from Breaking Bad. And here again, if we look at the thick line art, We've got a fair bit of detail in there. Now that would look very good as like a vectorized logo. And again, the thin line art or just the line art one, minimal details in there, but you can tell exactly who it is. And that's come out really well. And the same then with the detailed line art, it's pulled a bit from both and obviously put more details in there. And then same with this image of this ogre, I believe it is, thick line art, exactly as you'd expect. It's taken all the proportions, everything from the image. You know, we've got the hair, the ears, eyes, nose, mouth, and the shoulders, and it's given us that result. And then same with the thin line art, it's very similar. We've got a couple more details in there. It's very minimal with the thin lines. And again, then with the detail line art, we've got more details in there. There's thicker lines with this one. And again, that is something that could be used very nicely as a vector logo. And again, then the results are very similar going all the way across. Thick line art, thicker lines, line art, thinner lines. And then the detail line art, extra details. Same with the dog. And then I wanted to try this image. It was just to see if it could take an image like this and convert it and again we've got some really good results but again the detail line out there i personally think is the better out of the three so let's have a look at the website then as you can see it is very minimal it may change in the future but i do try and want to keep it as minimal as possible just so it loads quicker because we want this website just to be used to upload photos and then convert those images we don't want any fancy stuff adverts nothing like that on it so the link for this at the moment will be down in the description. It may change in the future, so obviously when we buy a, a proper domain for it, but at the moment we're just using this free one and it just works. So when you open up the link, you'll have create an account or sign in. So you've got create an account, you can either sign up with your Google account or you can just sign up with an email. 
And then if you have already created an account, you'll sign in. And again, you can sign in with Google or just log in with your email. So I'm just gonna log into my account I currently use for this. Okay, so I'm logged in with my Google account. And as you can see, I've got 35 credits. So this is what you'll be greeted with when you sign up as a new customer. It'll say welcome and your credits at the moment will show zero. You do need to buy credits to be able to use this. The credits are really cheap. I'll show you the prices at the moment. The reason we haven't given you X amount of free credits at the moment, it may change in the future, but at the moment, it's just really easy to abuse the create an account system on you. So if you create an account, it will give you 10 free credits and then they run out. You can just create another account and another account, just keep using credits. And every time you use one of the credits, it's personally costing me money. And it's not a lot of money, but obviously it will add up. So you just click buy more credits and it'll give you a few options. So within the buy more credit screen, you can buy 10 credits for $2, 25 for $4 or 50 for $7. Obviously the 50 credits works out the cheapest, but if you just wanted to try this out, so you just wanted to try with 10 credits, I should mention as well with this website, unlike a lot of other sites where they'll charge you like five credits or 14 credits to do one conversion, this is just nice and simple. It's one credit per conversion. We don't charge you like another credit if you wanna save the image. Once the image is converted, it'll take one credit off you and then you can do whatever you want with that then. So let's say for example, you wanted to buy 10 credits for $2. You'll click that, that should open up a Stripe checkout. Now this is all secure, it's through Stripe. It's not through anything we've created. So it is 100% secure. All your details are secured on there. So if you're using a computer, you'll have this option to pay with link or you can pay with your credit card details. But if you use your mobile phone to access this website, which again, it works absolutely fine, you can use Apple Pay and I believe Google Pay will work with it as well. So let's say you've made your payment. Once that's done, it'll say payment successful and then there'll be a button to click to take you back to the home screen. And then your credits at the top should be updated with whatever you've purchased. So let's have a quick look then how this works. It's very, very simple. You can either click and open up an image from your computer or you can just drag and drop an image on. And I'm gonna go into Google, take this image of a dog and I'm just gonna click, drag all the way over and just drop it in there. Now again, we've got the three options here. So you've got your line art, your thick line art, or your detailed line art. I'm gonna use the detailed line art because it's my favorite one. And we'll just click it. And then that just takes in a few seconds to load. Personally, I do think this is quicker than a lot of the other ones I've actually tried. It takes probably about 20 to 30 seconds. Again, it does depend on what conversion tool it's using and how many people are gonna be using it. But again, yeah, it is very, very quick. So as you can see, it's taken a look at that image and we've got a really good result from that. It's taken obviously all the proportions. It's noticed where the ears are. It's, the dog is kind of winking and it has his tongue out. So I'd be happy with that image. Now there's two ways you can save this image. You can right click and open up in a new tab and then that'll just give you a version of the image that you can right click and copy. Or alternatively, you can just press download and then that'll just open up the page with the image, which again, you can right click and copy. At the moment, it doesn't download directly to your device, but again, that's something that will probably change in the future. So let's show you then very quickly how to convert this to a vector for completely free. Let's right click the image and go copy image. And I'm just gonna load up Inkscape again. Inkscape, it's a completely free program to use. I'll put a link down in the description if you haven't already got it. Then within Inkscape, you can either go right click and paste or control and V, completely up to you. But that'll bring our image in of a dog. Now on the right hand side here, I've got convert bitmap or trace map already selected. If you don't see that within your Inkscape, at the top here, you've got path and then trace bitmap. And that's what this screen is. When you're working with just standard black and white images, the, the default settings work perfect. So don't really need to make any changes there. So that's selected. We can see a preview here. Now we're just gonna press apply. And there we go. We can see now this has been converted. We can delete this, select that and press delete. And now this is a vector line art drawing of that dog. So then if you wanna save that out as a vector, you just go file, save as, save it to your computer as an SVG. And that is done. So there we go, that's it at the moment then. I do hope you enjoyed the video and I do hope you enjoy using this tool. 
like I said, we spent quite a bit of time trying to get all this sorted. It wasn't the easiest thing I've ever had to do, but it's all working exactly how I imagined it should. So yeah, and just, just let me know down in the comments what you think. Let me know if you've used it, if you found any problems with it, and if it's worked really well for you, let me know how well your results came out. And don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. And if you're not subscribed, click that button down below. It does help me out a ton.